So what's better, a mirrorless or an SLR camera? This is an argument you might have heard a lot of photographers having. As soon as new technology comes in, everyone freaks out and tries to stick to the old and familiar. To me, it is similar to when film photography started to give way to digital, except technology has been growing exponentially, meaning new tech is catching up to old tech much faster than we can keep up with the changes. I was slower to jump into the mirrorless world for many reasons that I'll get into a little bit later. So let's get started. It is fair to think that DSLRs are the more traditional and the standard for professional photography. And I would have argued that mirrorless cameras were not up to pair with SLRs about five years ago. Today, it's a bit of a different story. Let's dive in. DSLR stands for Digital Single Lens Reflex. Your first clue here is that SLRs existed before digital, hence the D at the front. This system was used in film before digital sensors even existed. But what does SLR actually mean? It means that the camera uses a mirroring system to display the image and to focus. The light comes through the lens, bounces off a mirror, and shows you on the viewfinder exactly what your lens is seeing at that time. This makes the image you see as close as possible to what the final image would look. So when working with an SLR, you are using the reflection of the mirrors to see the image and to focus. As soon as you press the shutter, the mirror flips up, exposing the sensor to the exact same light and capturing the image. This is called an optical process. So here is the pros and cons of SLRs. Pros, they're the industry standard with plenty of resources on and offline. There's a much bigger lens selection and they are often compatible with older lens models. SLRs have much longer battery life and there are much more camera options. And my favorite thing about SLRs, mm, the delicious clicking sound when the mirror flips up and down. Now the con list. SLRs are much heavier and bulkier. Lenses can usually be a lot more expensive. LCD screen is much slower due to the mirroring system. SLRs might be obsolete sooner than later because technology will continue to develop and focus on mirrorless cameras. Let's talk about mirrorless. As you must have guessed it by now, a mirrorless camera is a camera that, unlike an SLR, does not use a mirroring system to view your image or to focus. So how does it work? Electronically and directly onto your digital sensor. This is why you'll find mirrorless cameras have EVF or electronic viewfinder and LCD screens to view your exposure. They have to create the image digitally as there are no mirrors reflecting what you see. The lack of a mirroring system allows these type of cameras to be smaller, lighter, and have no need for optical viewfinders. This is all a digital process, eliminating the optical one. A mirrorless camera does everything simultaneously. What you're seeing in your electronic viewfinder or digital screen is exactly what your digital sensor is seeing. And when you press that shutter button, it records the same digital image. Here is the pros and cons list for mirrorless cameras. Mirrorless cameras are smaller and lighter. They are the newest technology. They have much cheaper lenses. They are equally capable as an SLR in technology. And frankly, they're where the future of photography is going. Now here's the cons list. They kind of look less professional. They have much lower battery performance. They have an EVF or an electronic viewfinder rather than an optical one. And sometimes they might be slower to focus. There are fewer lenses available and it's an electronic system versus a mechanical system. So it is much more prone to failure. As I mentioned earlier, I was a bit slow to jump on the mirrorless train. The choice between mirrorless and SLR was simpler a few years ago. If you wanted to work professionally, you had to get an SLR. If you wanted a high quality camera with better portability and lighter, the mirrorless was for you. But in the last few years, more and more photographers, including myself, have switched to mirrorless cameras. The reason is simple. Mirrorless cameras have evolved exponentially in the last few years. 
With camera manufacturers focusing so much more on mirrorless cameras technology and evolution on their new systems. Mirrorless used to have a slower focusing system, fewer lens options, lower tolerance to low light and high ISO exposures and overall didn't perform well in professional settings. Well, as you know now, this is not the case anymore. I used my very first mirrorless camera on a trip to Colombia back in 2014. I was given a Sony A something back in the day by one of the Sony reps uh, to give it a try and play. For me, it was super interesting to try it, but I found the focusing system too slow and the whole experience felt just too digital. I couldn't get used to the electronic viewfinder and the super digital feel of the camera. Later that year, I actually bought my first mirrorless. I decided to get a Fuji because I love the way it felt and I love how it looked like a film camera. It seemed to pass by discreetly in public and at the time I wanted a lighter and smaller camera to travel with, something that I could easily send my files to my phone on the go and just edit as I was traveling. I loved my Fuji X-E2 but eventually I stopped using it. I was so used to my full frame sensor on my SLR that the quality just couldn't compare. Especially once I started shooting for clients on my trips, I simply couldn't justify a lower quality camera. Not even to mention bringing that to a professional shoot, my clients wouldn't be impressed. My little mirrorless just didn't look professional. Fast forward to 2019 when my shutter gave on my Nikon D750 and I had to upgrade my main workhorse. I realized that Nikon had put all their latest technology in their mirrorless system. Not only their mirrorless had a much faster and efficient focusing system than the other mirrorless I tried, they were full frame cameras. Once I got my hands on one and saw all the features, the lens lineup and the quality of video, I was sold. I kept my SLR as a second body and as a backup and to be honest, I've only ever used it in emergencies and it's been sitting in a closet for literally over a year. My mirrorless is miles away in technology and performance and the electronic viewfinder is so good that I've gotten used to it very, very quickly. To top it all off, clients and photographers alike now know that a mirrorless is equally professional and level of quality as an SLR. So what's better? I'm a believer that the most important aspect of your choice should be your preference, then your budget, and also as important, the best technology you can get within both of those. When I bought my first mirrorless, they were just coming out. I wanted all the benefits of the small size for travel and at the time, very few SLRs had the advantage of Wi-Fi to your phone. By the time I fully switched to mirrorless, I could have the best of both worlds, full frame and professional technology with the newest technology and size benefit of the mirrorless. The adjustment to shorter battery life and EVF is definitely a curve, but it was worth it for me. I was super resistant to change. I had worked with my SLR for literally 10 years and I was scared to upgrade into something that felt new. But after a couple of weeks, I was so used to it and I couldn't believe I didn't make the switch sooner. So when it comes to making a choice, think about what you really want your camera for, what matters to you and make a choice based on that. There are excellent cameras, both SLR and mirrorless, and it truly is a matter of preference. If you're buying your first camera, you run with the benefit of never having used an SLR, so there's nothing for you to have to get used to. If you're a beginner, I have a whole video teaching you how to buy your first camera. Hope you enjoyed this video today and I'll see you guys next time.